Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial we will learn how to bring a wavy ocean into a small drop with the help of Cinema 4D and X-Particle. In previous tutorial we talked about how a drop fell and created a splash and create a wavy splash. In this tutorial we do totally opposite and we bring the wavy ocean inside a drop form metaphoric shape and we will use again XP Ocean to create such a beautiful effect. We jump to Insidium X particle XP system and in XP emitter instead of the shape we go to the object and emitter shape we change it to sphere because we want from the sphere shape create our ocean and we go to the emission to the shot instead of random we select the hexa hexagonal which will be a type that we need for fluid simulation and speed we don't need and uh, and here with the radius you can make it le less and uh, here will be more particles and if you make it for example 5 will be less particles. We will stay with the two. Now we go to the nexus and add some NX fluid. This will give motion to our particles. And why we need this motion particle? Because this will be like creating our ocean inside the, the sphere. To make it clear, to see that how it's work. I will show you now in a simple scene of uh, creating in bully effect. For explain what we are doing with particles and simply in a simple language, I can say we have one sphere, we call it drop, and another sphere we call it ocean. And the ocean has this place that uh, is slightly animated with the shader noise. We want this simple move to show simulating if this is our ocean or this is like our particles. And we have this drop on the ocean and we go to the bully and we drag both of them here. And you see quickly we have the movement, the motion inside the drop. And you can move it and animate it and create our effect that we are looking for or play with with the radius of the ocean it's like kind of masking we want to mask our particles or will be uh, xp ocean so if you just make a keyframe for it for example here we put radius 180 and here we put it to the for example 50 and you can here see the simulation this is what we want to do exactly with the particles instead of we have this placer we will use all of this with particles as I show in this quick test with the bully we will use same technique here too it means all of these particles will be used as a one mesh and uh, another sphere will be our second mesh i put this sphere in utilities i add some segment and uh, i keep the size for now okay i make this uh, alt and uh, double click and hide the sphere and come to the generators because we want to turn these particles also to the mesh and come here and use a VDB measure and we drag the XP emitter here and we now created our mesh we can make the points radius less smaller we don't need so big but we want all of these particles also receive like ocean movement and the 
ripple effect on, on it. So we will go again to generator and XP Ocean. We want all of this movement come on our particles. And this is the reason we go to a type of primitive and select the deformers. And quickly you can see here the particles have same wavy effect on it. Both of them we select and do Alt G will make a null object for us. We call this ocean. We call this ocean. This is our ocean. And we now I bring this sphere to generators. We want to kind of mask the or db measure into a drop. For this we go here and select bully, bring it here and let's drag both of them here. Quickly, if I play again, nothing look like happen. And if I change direction, you see that some changes happening, it's creating. So we should play with the radius and also put the drop first and we can go to the bo boolean type and change it to a intersected B. Now we just need to select a drop and move it a little bit, just a little bit to the top. Because we want a kind of masking. You, you have two ways to mask it from top or from, from the bottom or from the top. And both of them can create a cool and beautiful effect. As you can see here, we have from top to the bottom. And if you select a drop and bring it to the top, like here, and now you have from the bottom to the top. This is like very simple technique that we use to kind of mask our ocean into the drop. We, we create our metaphor word with few simple techniques and bring them into a 3D life with combination of X particle, XP ocean, DB measure, and bully effect in Sinal 4D. And you see it's so beautiful, cool, and still we work on it to make it much better. If we play here, we see the shape of the drop is just one direction and we can make it more random and also our ocean can be a little bit more smooth for this for making the ocean uh, more smooth we can go to our measure and add in uh, filters add some filter we can add median you can make the white, for example, two. And when play again and see, it's more smooth and look more ocean look than before. And also, we want to have this uh, creation of the drop be a little more random look. For example, here, taller and uh, here, the different, not like regular shape. And for this, if you see the particles here, they are all in one direction. And to make it a little bit more random, we can go and add dynamics to them. For this, we go dynamics, select the uh, XP flow field. And if you play, you see suddenly we have the random movement. But it's a little bit too much. So we, we use another layer instead of random, we go and select uh, surface tangent because we want the surface of the sphere B 
be used in this uh, flow field and we go drag the drop to the object and you see you can see the flow movement and the motion look preview here and now it's much better oceany look to make it more strength we can stronger we can go and make make for example 50 and remove here fall off and let's see now how it look like it look much smoother and more beautiful oceany look movement and if you can you imagine this this is water and if you you put water here for example this is like the ocean is slowly slowly creating the drop and the last thing we need to do is just uh, just to animate the coordination of our drop here if i turn off the bully effect we just need just to animate this to here i just go to coordination at the frame zero i just uh, click here create a keyframe and come for example frame 60 and here i just create another keyframe and just move it to the bottom and let's see and let's play it again and i think it's okay now just go and activate the bolly effect and when we play again it's like the feeling of creating the drop with the movement of the ocean and this is the last thing you need to do to make it more dynamic even you can make it more interesting by adding other uh, dynamic tools that we have in uh, Exportical. You can try along all of uh, the dynamics and play with it and discover and use your own creativity for creating beautiful visuals. But one of the things that you can here test it and make it very beautiful is in a dynamic XP splash. And a splash makes a kind of quicker move in particles and create faster and uh, wavy look in our ocean and you can change the position play with the splash for example rotate it and uh, create a different angle of splash on our particles and you see here will be totally another form of visual of water simulation if you like this tutorial please subscribe and hope to see you on the next tutorial